Rockford's new mayor, starting May 1st, Tom McNamara is here. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. From now on, you are Mayor Mac. All right. To us, yes. (laughs) To everybody, not just to us. This is going to be a trending deal. Okay. So our job this morning is to ask you five questions that no other media in Rockford will dare to ask you. Oh, God. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. I don't remember all the questions. You want to go start, first? I'll start. This is very, very heavy stuff here. All right. A euro from Uncle Nick's or cheddar fries from Beef Roo? Oh. I'll do euro, but Beef Roo is, uh, that's a really good place. <laughs> okay. Can you give me that sheet, Shannon? I don't remember <laughs> all the questions. You are probably not going to be able to read my scribbles. I can read your handwritings. Let's see here. Oh, that was a good one. When was the last time you got pulled over in Rockford? And did you get a ticket? Yeah, I got a ticket. Um, <laughs> Can you tell us was... why? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was speeding. Um, <laughs> I got a ticket probably in 08 or 09. That's the last time I was pulled over. Well, it's off your record now. Exactly. Not that now because... that the campaign's over, not, I not guess I got mayor. a speeding ticket. He was like, hey, uh, Chief O'Shea, can you wipe this off my record? <laughs> yes. I was re- in my defense, it was right when the speed limit was decreasing to uh, 30 and... I didn't quite see that. So Okay. All right. Well, we'll That's the that story one go. sticking to it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, where can we find you on a Saturday night when you're not, you know, going to be doing mayor things? But you can't say home either. You can't say at home. So my wife would then say I'm totally going to lie then. <laughs> oh, okay. All she right. thinks I'm the oldest young person she knows. So I, I probably too, so. would be uh, at home. Uh, otherwise, no. Me and Sarah uh, love going out to eat at a whole host of local uh, Rockford restaurants. So you'd probably see us out to dinner. And then promptly me laying down and going to bed. Yeah, before 9 <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, maybe 9.30 if I'm pushing it, getting yeah. crazy. Yeah, me too. Uh, how many days do you go in a row with the same pair of jeans before you wash them? Oh, not many. I'm a little bit of a clean freak. Uh, this guy's like perfect. Can you many. stop it? <laughs> not many. Saying one. He wears them once. Right, I'm like five. Them. Not these, though, because we had to dress nice for you today. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Favorite hangout as a child in Rockford. Oh, favorite hangout as a child in Rockford. I loved going mini putting. Uh, I uh, let's see, probably also Ingersoll Golf Course. To be honest with you, I, it was okay. uh, my parents could have gotten in trouble. It was like a, a built-in babysitter. They dropped me <laughs> off at uh, seven a.m. and picked me up at three thirty. I don't know if I, that was legal at the time, but what was your dad busy doing mayor things? So uh, he was busy. I can say that, but. Uh, <laughs> They just would drop me off, open up the car, and I'd do the little bet uh, a dime over at the putting green with all the older Italian guys. It was awesome. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like we were thinking, you know, I was going skate land or rock and roll. Oh, he's no. like, I'm golfing and betting on my, my mom golfing. would pull up, and I'd be like, I need 13 dimes. I owe Mister So and So money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you honest. Wanna, you don't want to golf with Italian people and owe them money. I'm no, <laughs> no. I learned that lesson early on. All right, here's the best question ever. How, is this number five? What was that for? I think this is six. Whatever. Whatever. We're, we're rolling. Where does the bridge to nowhere lead to? <laughs> Ooh, good question. That's a horrible question. I'm <laughs> sorry. That was bad. Uh, all right, so what's your favorite landmark in Rockford? And you can't be you can't give us the mayor answer. Is there one that stands out, new or old? And you can take that definition of landmark and use it for whatever you want. Oh, favorite landmark. Uh, that's a good question. A good photographer comes up to you. It says, I'm going to take pictures of you and the family, but it's got to be at a landmark in town. It's got to be somewhere that has a lot of meaning to you. Where is it? You know, I, I guess, you know, today it's so fresh in my mind uh, because of Tuesday. I would say probably somewhere right around Prairie Street Brew House, uh, yeah. somewhere along the river. Uh, it, it was just such a wonderful night to be with family and friends, and I would say that's probably the, the number one place right now for me. Look at this guy. You can't crack him. <laughs> No, we're we're very excited and we're we're uh, we're happy to see what's gonna prevail in the next four years and uh, maybe four years from now we'll be doing this again. And I'm hoping you still like me in four years. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. You did tell us that earlier this what? week. <laughs> gonna get the job done. Here, you might not like me. Here's what I've told to other politicians in town. Some of them that I don't agree with on a lot of things. I genuinely like as a person. Good. There you go. All right. I feel like we're on the same so page for some stuff. Chance to but can I call you? you if I call, if I have an issue, can I call you and be like, dude, come on, you're killing me here. <laughs> I had to call you this morning yeah. from my cell phone. So now you have my cell phone. <laughs> call, no, listen to this. I don't know if Shannon can describe the look on my face, but I got a call from a weird number, which I was like, well, it might be, might be Mayor Matt calling. 
I'm going to go ahead and answer it. And he goes, is this Jeremy? And I'm like, who do I owe money to? <laughs> Tom McNamara, thank welcome you. to uh, no, Rockford as the new guys. mayor. Really appreciate you having me in today. Thank you.